Hi guys, Mr. Hellman here. So we've talked a lot about your four years here at Golden Valley High School. And the thing you have to remember is that at the end of it, there's the graduation ceremony. This is where you're recognized for your four years of, of hard work. Now everyone will either purchase or rent a gown like this. And you'll have it on, hopefully a little less wrinkled than this one is, okay? You'll look nice and fresh and ready for the graduation ceremony. Now, every student will look like this. Every student will have a gown. Every student will have a hat with a tassel. But over your four years, if you've really worked academically, you could look like this. Okay, here we go. You'll notice here, I have my regalia. Okay, each one of these cords represents a different honor here at Golden Valley High School. So for my video series, for the GPS lessons, we're gonna talk about academics, and we're gonna talk about each one of these cords. We're gonna start with this one right here. This is the maroon cord, and this goes to all students that earn A to G qualifications, meaning that you are qualified to go to a Cal State or a UC. So let's talk about A to G. Okay, you have to remember that you really have two sets of requirements you need to meet um, for not only graduating high school, but also to be ADG qualified. And once again, all of this information is available on the Golden Valley website, goldenvalley.kernhigh.org. So the ADG requirements really are letters of the alphabet. You'll see these letters in your classes as you go through campus. Each one of our classes has the letter designation for that particular core course. So for example, A is social studies. If you go to your world history or US history or government or econ course, you'll see an A there posted in that class. Every student to be eligible for a CSU or UC has to have two years of social studies. Very easy for Golden Valley because you have to have two years three years to graduate, actually, because you have world history, U.S. history, government, and economics. Your B classes are English. You have to have four years of English, which is also very similar to the graduation requirements uh, for high school. In terms of C, that's mathematics. Uh, mathematics, you have to have at least three years, preferably four, uh, and preferably in advanced coursework. So, that is the C requirement for A to G. The D requirement is science. You have to have two years, which is very similar to the graduation requirement, but three years is recommended. Four years is preferable here at Gold Valley. You also have to have two years of a foreign language, either Spanish or French. Three years are preferred. That's the E requirement. You'll see that letter E in your modern language classes. Fine arts, you have to have one year of fine arts. Um, that can include things like color guard and band, um, but fine arts, you have to have at least one year, and then at least one year of a general elective that qualifies for the G requirement. And that's it, A to G. Social studies, English, math, science, foreign language, fine arts, and your elective. So once again, C's or above, C, anything below a C doesn't count, and you uh, have to have all of those categories completed to be eligible to attend a CSU or UC. So there you go, Golden Valley. Not only have to graduate, but you have to graduate plus. Make sure you get those C's or above and uh, hit all the categories in your A to G. There you go. Walk Bulldog Strong.